Officers from law enforcement agencies across Mobile and Baldwin counties are coming together this week to learn the newest techniques in crime scene investigation from the FBI. Fox 10 News reporter Katie Weiss found out what some of the new and improved procedures are being used when it comes to solving crime. Fifteenth of a second, so maybe go a little lower. Special agents with the FBI are holding a week-long workshop in Stapleton this week. Sponsored by the Baldwin County Sheriff's Office, officers from various police departments across Mobile and Baldwin counties are learning important skills to better analyze and investigate various crime scene scenarios. FBI agents are teaching officers how to trace evidence, collect tiny details like hair and fingerprints, and get that evidence submitted to the proper places. First shot, largest aperture, and that's because that's going to be a shallow depth of One new technique that officers are learning how to use at this camp is how to better preserve fingerprints. You can see they're using a new kind of silly putty type material called Accutrans to help preserve these fingerprints. You can see whenever I touch the fingerprint, it's not going anywhere. The preservation of fingerprint evidence has uh, uh, really grown quite a bit to where not just the ridge detail, but they can actually uh, uh, on a microscopic level, look at the pores of your skin and, and ever more detail they can extract out of that. So we want to make sure we preserve all that detail. George Glazer with the FBI tells me he's also spent a lot of time teaching crime scene management, crime scene photography, and what to do if you encounter hazardous devices such as explosives or dangerous chemicals. At the end of the week, they will create a full-scale crime scene exercise. They'll start off with kind of finding out how large that crime scene is, followed by doing a, a diagram of it, photographing everything, logging everything that comes in, goes out, who's there, um, and then collecting the various types of evidence we'll leave for them to collect. Blazer says the ultimate goal is to get local law enforcement thoroughly educated so they can better solve the crimes that hit our area. Some folks come in knowing quite a bit already. Uh, we're just helping them uh, improve their credentials so they can can testify to certain things that they do. Others, it's it's brand new and fresh, and they're really having to take in a lot of information in a very short time. In Stapleton, Katie Weiss, Fox 10 News. The Alabama Peace Officer Standards and Training Commission is also.